Yes. Centre pass again. Oh. My goodness, that was beautiful from Shad from Kadeen Corbin. Just drew Shadeen van der out of that circle and took that space, landing right under the pole. She's a dangerous player when she's smiling. So how can half, just her ability to turn that ball over and again proving priceless for South Africa. Their centre pass to and back to three goals. Yeah, this is a crazy start in this third quarter from the Spa Pro. Just the fresh legs. Doing a good job. Podgita. Oh, her eyes in. Her eyes in. We, we saw that the first two quarters they were shooting around about 85%. And already just proving those goals through and back to just two goals. Malcolm, you on at that position. Cardwell does well to make sure that that one ends up in England hands. I mean, it looked good, but it was also read by Moene about four hours earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think really the combination of Shadeen and Moene is becoming, it's, it's, it's coming together nicely. This is one of the things that the coach of the Spa Pro Chester Red Barnhorse was worried about because we know that Pumza Maweni has been in combination for many years with Carla Pretorius. Not sure they can believe at the moment just how well these two Starting combinations are working. Cardwell from distance. And the contact called against Maweni. Maweni is a, is a Hollywood story waiting to be to be made, isn't it? The mother who, was it when she was 29, just really took up senior level yep. netball. Her 10-year-old son, she was telling me she's expecting to see him in the crowd today. He'll be wearing one of her T-shirts. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Very humble, Pumza Maweni leads by example. I mean, there are hot feet, and then there are hot feet. Just seeing that one-two step across, making everything happen. Hello, international netball. Yep, hello, Lefebvre Radaman. You know, just putting on that verb and just making sure she makes the most of this moment. Exactly what the spa approach is needed. It's a gun attack who's fearless, that is contact, wing attack. confident, and accurate. That is contact wing defense. South Africa were five goals down heading into this quarter and now they're back level. Big passage of play for England. Hayton Frey in at that goal attack to body back into those South Africa defenders, draws them out and Cardwell, beautiful shot through. There's a lot being said there by Cardwell, just charging up her troops. Van der Merwe to Dreyer. So impressive. Work around that circle. Oh no, this is good play from the Spa Proteas. Those changes working. And that's what's important to know which player to bring on and, and give clear instructions as to what you expect from them when they step onto that court. Oh, contact call. Yes. Goal defence, back where it was. Thank you. Williams won't mind just having to go back a little bit longer. It eats into that clock. Contact, wing defence. Wing defence, come forward. Thank Over you. Over from... So Casey's her nickname. I keep hearing everyone telling me how Casey is going to be brilliant. She's going to be for South Africa for the next five, ten years. I agree with them wholeheartedly, especially now that she's going to be going to play in England. She's going to gain the experience there. She can bring all of that back to South Africa. Tanisa Chowane at the other end of the court. Wing defence, Bibon now puts in that defensive work for England. Contact with defence. And I talked her into Wing that contact. Defense. Step forward where it was. Yeah, well, Thank as a wing defence, I mean, I used to be a wing defence. That's your job. You You've got to work that wing attack. You've got to try and smother them. Complete, take them out of the game, you know. So if you don't get any calls against you as a wing defence, then you're not doing your job. Particularly with Laura Excellent Malcolm Shira. Fresh on court. Advantage goal, South Africa. 
can see how hot they're finding it on court, but both sides still playing with that smile. Oh, it's great vision from Tawane. That is contact. Contact lead. It's almost like slow motion up to the point that it gets into Radebe's hands Hold and she's keeper, just take a step. Take all a of a sudden injected That's that up. energy in. Maybe that, that Stoles didn't have, but the ability Keep as well to, to put the shot team. up. Back with her. Oh, she misses that one, does the Feb Runham. Unfortunate to be getting that ball again, South Africa. Don't your side. Contact keeper. Suddenly uh, keeper. giving Come that defensive circle for England much more to think about. Stacey Francis, the goalkeeper, Vivon. Williams in there too. Stretching hands before both. So Nella, would you, you're happy with these combinations at the moment, would you hope that the coach kind of sticks with these to the end of the game? You've got to try and let teams play through it, haven't you? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think they're doing well at the moment. Uh, Wong and Somi is not on court. Maybe something different in the last quarter. Bring in Wong and Somi on the centre position to replace Romay Breya. That's a good rebound from Pumza Maweni. It's Captain Hayton Thwaite who put the shot up. South Africa that have it. Van der Merwe. Oh, there's a ball. There's a pass. And she combined with the post at the end. Pogita back on her feet. This one needs Radaman to finish it off. She's all right. She's looking up at the net. She's full contact with the post. No umpire whistle for that. The post will take it. Radaman will take it. And that was a beautiful ball. Everything behind that. Ooh. Absolutely. This is good play. Knowing Lee Pogita, that post will have come off worse there. Contact, goal attack. Yep, that's a good call from the umpire. She came in there, she did bump Williams. South Africa with the goal lead then. Just over six minutes of this Contact. third quarter. England being forced into using Bad full court. This is good defence from the Spa Proteas. Now the chance of defence, defence go up as well. England. Good patience though, being exercised by England around that circle's edge, not forcing that ball to a shooter that is sandwiched between two defenders. Really being patient, making sure that it lands in Cardwell's hands. And she makes no mistake and converts. Yeah, Ellie Cardwell been shooting at 85%. Matt Hayton wait in that change at a goal attack. South Africa. She might not be getting the goals at the moment, that hate on play, but she, she gives a, an option inside that circle to move things around. Here comes South Africa. That is contact again. offside. Yeah, Lefebvre Radaman. Fearless. That's, that's the name that I use to describe her. Dynamite comes in small packages, and this girl has got nerves of steel. You throw in the deep end, she will not sink, she'll swim. 35 all. Cardwell to nudge England further ahead. Well, you won't tell me about umpire decisions, but you might tell me which way you think this one was going. It's so tight. Yeah, this one's definitely obviously going right down to the wire. Phew, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's, it's, it's really that last, the last quarter for me in the last few minutes of the last quarter. Can they maintain this intensity and this momentum and the discipline, especially when they turn ball, are they able to capitalize? And what's improved as well for me in this quarter is... Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's that defense from the Spa Proteas. Because I asked, I put a question to them. I said, what kind of defensive pattern are you putting up? You know, we're not quite sure. It's not clear enough. Now we're seeing it. Everybody manning their own player, making sure that they're putting so much pressure there on the Roses. And then... When you do that, you give them something else to think about and the mind goes out the window. Now what can South Africa do? England one way, South Africa the other, and Stacey Francis sensing it, went for the fly through, but Radaman was in there, the ball found her. Oh, good 
defensive recovery by England, though. Apparently, the shooters say that those are the worst balls to, to try and convert, the ones right under the pole. They can take the, the shot from far, but close by, the chances of missing are quite high. Great conversion from Porchita. That passage of play, that minute, was pretty much how we've seen this whole match so far. Just moments of brilliance, and just trying to unlock both defences. Hustle in the circle from England. South Africa. Oh, I counted three in that. You know, maths isn't my strong point, but that, that was hell. Yeah, I think a little bit of doubt and hesitation there from Chrysal. She could have still given it to run among, even a bounce pass. Just make sure you keep ball in hand. Chrysal in that wing attack position. Looks on as England now attacking. Malcolm, who's come on court in this quarter. Panna Gary back on a wing defence for England. Where you are. Pausing goalkeeper. Yes. Oh, don't ever leave the circle's edge. That's Bandy the golden Johnson. rule. Romain Dre not there to pick up that ball. She was already walking to the centre circle. And South Africa had another chance then. That was an opportunity. England, England, England shut the door. But that was more South Africa's doing. Centre pass, England. Just over two minutes of this third quarter. 37 all. Clark lands it. Great weight on that. Little ball in to card work. South Africa. The experience normally that England have in that attacking end with Howesby and Hart and Codwell's done well. South Africa again. They've been forced into some of these spectacular passes, but at the moment they're coming off. That is context. Oh, Radaman again. Such poise from her too. This this crowd that they, they've experienced that with the Africa Cup with her as well. But she's willing to yes. take that expectation that she's got on her shoulders. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, since Marega Holt has and retired, and she I means she was playing goal attack for the Spa Fritches all the years. And uh, that's a young player in Radaman. Big shoes to fill, but she's filling them. Conte goal attack, advantage offside. Last minute then of this third quarter. 15 to go after this. Two more yeah, games to come in this series. But this very much, both these new coaches wanting to lay down the marker. At the moment, South Africa have had those questions to answer by England. They were down at half time. They've made those two decisive changes and in that circle, they've given England much more to think about. Yeah, I must say, this is the calmest I've seen the coach of the spa approach is Dorit Bardenhorst. Just holding time again. South Africa's been Just pass. some sweat on the court being mopped up to our left. And that's where we just saw Choen van der Merwe putting you, their bodies on the line and flying that. through just to try and win that ball back oh. off, off England. One goal in it, centre pass to South Africa. Some vital seconds on the clock. And Sanella, the advantage to go in ahead into that final quarter, what would it do for the South Africa side? Definitely, it will actually indicate to them that they had a really good quarter and that they are ahead and all that's important is for them to just really have a clinical last 15 minutes. Leading by two other Spa Proteas. Last few seconds then, England two behind. They won't draw it level, but they'll try and get that goal back. Time held, will they have the ball? Yes. The England's pass on the edge of the circle. Jay Clark, their most capped player with it. To Haythor Dwight, the cap's in and through the net. That was a big goal. Wouldn't be enough to draw them level as the Hooter goes. They were 12-15 down South Africa after the first quarter. They were 23-28 down after the second quarter. But they head in to the final 15 minutes and they're ahead. South Africa with the lead over England in this first test, 40-39.
time in Cape Town. The lights on outside and inside the arena. The lights out at the moment for South Africa, pushing ahead against England. They were behind in the first quarter, the second quarter, but in the third quarter, heading into the final 14, they are a goal ahead. Danilo Dadana, the goal is all important. Being ahead, though, for this South Africa team, what will that give them? Definitely confidence and also just an indication that they need to they ne really need to make use of this lead not easily giving the ball away to to the roses 50 minutes everything to play for they would want to bank a win here south africa because then that that will put all the pressure on the roses to try and win the next match which is tomorrow they started the year with a win against england they lost in that vital bronze medal match now england are up against it on South African soil. Yes. Bongi and Somi, the South Africa captain, said this was what was important about beating England on their home soil and about proving a point under their new coach. Two goals to the good at the moment. Yeah, so no changes from the from the South African side. That's great contesting from Kanye Sachawana. Two changes from, from the English Roses in this last quarter. Yeah, positional change too. We've seen Jay Clark, England's most Cat player move to wing defence. Nat Panagari moving into that central position. Vice captain for this team. And this defensive work going to be need. needed again from England. And the Merva stood out really for this South Africa side in those first three quarters. Consistent has made things happen. So any one of the young players coming through. And there's another Radaman who's come on such an impact at that goal attack position and Paul Gita like a fine one. Yes, I must say Radoman has been the change that South Africa needed in that in that shooting circle and on the attack. Fresh legs. It's got energy for days and she's really made it very difficult for the England d defenders, giving them something to think about, constantly making them reposition. So that was a good move from a coach Dorit Bodenhorst. Good defensive work though from England. Stacey Francis pushing that three seconds to the edge. Contact, band off side wing attack. Malcolm has a little dance around and Panagari. Good movement from the captain. Hate on Freak, then finishing off the move. You'll know Zanella from, from playing this highest level netball with South Africa, just to gain how quickly things shift around. Seeing those last goals, that run that South Africa had put on, all important, those last couple of goals for England. What will that do to South Africa? Yeah, you see, that's the thing. And this is what happened to South Africa, to England in, the, in that third quarter. We were scoring continuous goals, and it's sort of, you know, the momentum of England went down. But South Africa's important for them not to allow England to gain the confidence and sort of put their foot on the accelerator. Stay focused. Sorry, I was just looking at the visual reminder of the last time South Africa beat <laughs> England. In netball or rugby? <laughs> that was in rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that, and she got the t-shirt. Right, now here come England. Landed by Malcolm. I mean, that was just cruel, really. <laughs> he still got two more games. <laughs> Back to a goal. So this is now going to come down to who can be consistent. That won't help. Yeah, that's a good take from Malcolm. Bringing that ball down for for England. That is contact shooter. Consistent and clinical is the name of the game in this last quarter. Go on. Where you are? No goal tech. Move out. Further out. Where you are? Sorting out positions inside that circle. Contact the end of your holding. Oh, good movement too. Such so as the, the body on body inside England. that circle. Mulaney just under close contact. They had to try and do something to figure that out. Burning straight goal attack. Back level. I know you were about to shout it. It didn't come off of the moment then. 
She's been so close time after time. Oh, she's really playing good netball at the moment. Look at that, ridiculous, the, the deflection, six to one. So we see the spot pressure setting, setting up a, a zone defense here. Will it pay off? Oh, oh nearly, nearly. Top and side. That's good work from Kainisa Chawane. She's not even a specialist ring defense, nice but she plays with so much side. heart. Throws her body on the line. A brilliant addition to the Netball Super League in the UK. Big loss, of course, to... And I know that, Zanella, that's one of the one things to try and develop that professional league here in South Africa. No, absolutely. If we want to compete against the best teams in the world and be, and be, and be the best team in the world, we need a professional league. And this is what we've been preaching. And we know people are listening. We just hope that sponsors and can come on board and really back the girls. That is a couple of errors in there. Context the South Africa ahead going into this quarter, find themselves a goal behind. And this could swing back to two if England can capitalise. Oh, just think sometimes, isn't it? Straight up. Yeah, just miss fed that ball to Cardwell. Wow. I'm not sure where the, who Pumza Mawin was passing that ball to. That's one thing they always say about goalkeepers. They're not really good passes. Just just pass the short ball. Don't go for the long one. You've only known me a short time, but I am greedy. If this is level at the end, fancy some extra time. We're away off that yet. Extra time for the first test match. Not if England have something to do with it. That was an important goal. South Africa had chances in that, that passage too. Yeah, and this is what I was saying, you know, they need, to, they were two goals up going into this last quarter. Some silly errors. Losing crucial and critical ball. That is contact, Zita. Well, when he actually went in and repositioned Cardwell's arms, like one of those artist dummies then, didn't she? But still Cardwell wrestled her off. Yeah, so South Africa don't want to give England this lead. Don't want it to widen. Stay in it, because if England pull away, it's going to be very hard to close that gap. Not a big goal. Would you leave this seven on? If you're a threat, they're, they're still getting those moments, aren't they? Yeah, I would maybe make one change and bring William Somi on the centre position. We are goal take. We've seen Somi actually expelling a lot of energy on the sideline. She's been bouncing up and down trying to cheer her side on. Malcolm into Panagari with that Contact center Vibble. That was almost a mirror image of you at the moment, that yes. pondering everything in the crowd. Which way will it go Shots at the moment? Yes, yeah, England who just got the advantage back. 47-44. Sarah Simpson looking on from the sidelines. Again, one of those that's been instrumental for only over the last day or so to be here with this England team and seeing that the changes for them, the structure around. But South Africa aren't letting them get ahead. 6.30, plenty of time left to level and take this one for South Africa. Yeah, England changing it up now on the centre pass, playing, playing to the back players. We saw a lot in the first half of the game that the St. Foss was that going to the front players way. more often than not. Oh, Pumza Maweni! Take a bow! We've been waiting for... You see, I did say she's going to come up for those balls and she will get at least one of them and that's that's a crucial one that she just got for the Spa Proteus. All well and good getting the ball. You've got to deliver the end product. And South Africa have done that. Back to within one and the ball in hand. Can they draw it back level? That is not the side. That is contact wing defence. Contact goal defence, hand on ball. That's it. Tension in the crowd. Tension 
on tour. Tension in the commentary booth. Oh, no, no. Been here, seen this before. Both these sides in the semi-finals, both of them so narrowly defeated at the World Cup. Then that bronze medal match, going head to head, toe to toe with one another. England coming out with that win. But now in Cape Town, South Africa, desperate to put a marker on. And there's Van der Merwe. She takes the ball, she passes the ball, and they come away with it again. Drea into Poggita. Feeds out to Grizel on the edge of the circle. And there's the calmness. Radaman, like she's been playing international netball for the last decade. They're ahead. Five minutes to go. South Africa with the advantage. They've wrestled it back from England. Now, how do this England team react? Ciao, Amy. That was absolutely brilliant. Brilliant from Shadeen van der Merwe. That's exactly where Pumza Maweni took the previous intercept into that pocket. They're reading it well. We did say it's going to go right down to the wire this game. Two goals up. Two up. Now come the sounds from inside the velodrome in Cape Town. The chance of defence, defence again from the South African crowd. They've seen their team on this court win the Africa Cup. They've seen a new coach come in. Old legends of the game retire. Now the young blood coming through. And at the moment beating England. Oh, that was close. Yep, this is good defensive work from the spa approaches. Maweni and Van der Merwe know these England girls. They played in the Super League. They know their strength, they know the weaknesses, and they know to, to rattle them at the moment. But it's a goal back. Three and a half minutes. What defensive work can England put on? Contact centre at the edge. Contact call against Panagari. So we always say the most important thing is keep your own centre passes. It's easier said than done, but then Lenise Forfidu makes no mistake, converts that goal for the spa approaches. You can see how elated the crowd is. Clark Kent is now happy. Superman's arrived in the building. Jay Clark over the top into Haythorpway. Still got plenty of time. The England bench up. Summer Hartman in the background trying to get the team going again. Oh, little contact's called all over. Just eats into the clock. In the moment, England still have time. Another close one. Cardwell. Back to a goal. And now it just shifts again up the other end. Can England force that ball back? Laura Malcolm gets it. England have it. Haythorpe Waite lands it. Now they need that calmness that evaded them a few moments ago. Panagari and Malcolm. Who made that move work just too close from Zaraya, just too close. This, Ellie Cardwell for England to level it up. 50-50, and that's the chances at the moment for both these sides too. Sweat on the court. I don't know if it's just, everyone needs a breather. <laughs> oh, how calm do you need to be? You have been in these yeah. situations before, Sanella, and it's, and it's not about luck, is it? It's about heart, desire, and just yeah. playing right to the end. No, absolutely, and South Africa now must defend like beast, try and turn this ball, convert it, and then it will be their centre pass, and try and run the clock down, and use that centre pass. And this is what they're trying to do now, delaying the English side. You were calling that it might go to extra time. Caroline, there's an opportunity for South Africa. Oh, I was just about to ask you for your player of the match, but give it a moment. It could still swing. England had a chance. Now South Africa have it. But this will take like an age to get up through court. There's the defensive work again from England. Yep, they're heading in South Africa. Yeah, urgency from England. You can see the clock is ticking. South Africa need to score. Oh my goodness, she couldn't contain that ball. Oh, a minute and 20. And now back to England. Can't take your eyes off it. This is just the first of three tests. Every one of these, please let it be like this. Oh, splits from Cardwell. She has been calm all through this 
game and she nudges England in front. Still time for South Africa. Will we go to extra time? If we're all level, we will. Hold off on that player of the match. Time called. I'm okay. just right. asking whether they need right? to okay. mop up the court. I don't think anyone wants anything to stop right now, do they? Just here. Just here. Particularly your heart, I think, Zanella. <laughs> no, the beat going. Goodness good. gracious okay, me, my you. heart. This is exciting, but this is good quality netball. What a oh, first yes. test what for a these players. What a first test for that bench, for those coaches. And now, who wants to stand up? The last 30 seconds. Do they count down the clock? That's dangerous. They've been there before. England will know they have advantage. They won't mind this. If they take their time, all they need to do is get to circle and shoot that goal. Simple, hey? Eh? Got to get it there first. Malcolm. That is Conte. great. The captain came out for it. Still taking their time around. Risky, risky business. Can they get it into the circle? Here comes the defensive pressure again from South Africa. The clock's on their side. It's not on England. Cardwell turns. She has the time. She doesn't have the measure. South Africa have it. They'll go quick through court. But no, we will go to extra time. I told you, Zanella, don't give me your player of the match because we've got more time to take with this. My goodness, Cardwell with that ball had she could have converted it and England would have won this game by one goal but this is the quality and the standard of both these teams oh the South Africa netball president stands to attention to applaud her players both these teams have given us full throttle netball 51 all at full time guess what you'll enjoy it we've got extra time to come We're in it. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay focused. There's seven minutes aside that we still need to play. It's not over yet. But also remind them we, we were ahead and they still the errors that started creeping in and these are the things that made us end up in this uh, in, in, in this position. I love the way the coach Jess is speaking to her captain, you know, the face expression basically saying to her, let's go, go lead the troops out there. If the first test match is going to extra time, I'd love to know what's going to happen the next two. I don't know that far ahead. I don't know that either of us can take it. We've seen those options on the bench for Fisher, for Quashie, for Drake, for Lewis, but you get the feeling they'll stick with that, that seven. And Tanella, both these teams had moments, had opportunities. In the end, we thought it would come down to those those attacking ends as proved. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we did call it, if we go right down to the wire, there were a lot of turnovers from England, but also South Africa turning ball as well and using it when it mattered the most. You know, I think the combination of Shadeen van Mava and Pumza Maweni in this last quarter, you know, reading those balls at the circle, um, has worked well for the spa approaches. We find ourselves 51, 51, 51 all. We're going to extra time. Who would, who could have called it? You called it. Well, I tell you what, everyone that's been sat in that crowd and witnessed this, they've seen Ellie Cardwell been in fantastic form in that circle. And she'll need to, to shut out that opportunity that she had at the end to win it for England, because she has just been shooting on point. For South Africa to, Tell me how impressed you've been with Radaman. Extremely impressed. As I said, nerves of steel, firepower, dynamite. She says, bring the challenge on and I'll take it with both hands. And uh, she's been the answer to the Spa Pro Tears in this match, I must say, especially on the shooting circle, really giving the confidence as well to Lenise, but also taking responsibility in, in, in converting goals for South Africa. It's just really that drive and energy that she brought on to the court. We saw it with Joania too. Those moments that have really lifted South Africa throughout, but shooting percentage-wise too. No, absolutely. For me,
South Africa must bring Bongi Msomi back on court in the seven minutes. And then the coach can make a decision what she wants to do. She wants to make that change in the, in the other seven. But I think we need Bongi in that attacking. Penalties quite high. Quite high for both teams. 32 for South Africa and 28 for England. That's something that they'll really need to look at. There's the huddle then for South Africa. Such confidence from the South African team heading into this week. They've had very little time together. The coaches talked about that. And <laughs> so it's like just turning to Van der I don't know that Van der Merwe can give anything else. She's given everything, Thank hasn't you. she already? Guess what? We've got extra time. No one wants this one to end. We'll have a winner at the end of it if it comes from extra time or a couple of clear goals after that. We'll be done in extra time, won't we, Sunil? Definitely got to be done in extra time. My heart can't <laughs> take it anymore. So you might be done. <laughs> South Africa with it. They could have lost the game in those dying seconds. Now they have a chance to go back. Pogita. Is there any other answer when that's the question? Pogita puts up a shot, you know it's going to be. Yeah, absolutely. Just give her the ball, she'll do the rest without fail. Very consistent in sport, but so is Cardwell. South Africa. Doing the same for, for England. Goal for goal. Panagari, that centre bib on. You wonder whether we'd see Bongi and Somi we haven't. Would you see any changes for England, Zanella? All we see is Jay Clark. Yeah, okay, Clark's still on court. I'd love to see what she, uh, Kadeen Corbin would do in the in the goal attack position and maybe move um, the captain to wing attack, replacing uh, Malcolm. And there is a goal attack captain Matt yes. Haythorn three. Laura Malcolm with one of those changes at wing attack bid. Panagari with the centre on her back. Drea doing a dance in front of her, trying to put her off. The Merva had a little go. And Cardwell again. Looks like she's put behind her that, that final shot. Oh, Stacey Francis. Well, back after two years out. Yep, she's been quiet, but she's now saying, don't forget about me, I'm here. That's a brilliant take out of that circle from Francis. Real quality moment for England. And that's what Stacey Francis gives you. Panagari just gets it over. I mean, that's not easy to get over and win it. Oh, that one goes. England! That was close too from Cardwell. We're on a seven minutes. That's way for extra time. The two seven minute halves. And England with the early, and I mean early, advantage. They won the first two quarters. South Africa won the second. We were tied up at 51 all. Goal South Africa Contact have come back. Attack. England have come back. One blow, then yes. another blow. No one with a knockout yet. Yeah, overcooked it. Whoa. Overcooked it. Haythorn Twait. Yes. Overcooked that ball to Cardwell. They've got to exercise patience. They can't feed the balls from that distance. Now South Africa need to echo that and be patient themselves. Van der Merwit. Oh, that was an angry take. She wasn't letting that one go. Position, no, position theatre. Position. And that was possession. So she already had that. Jackson. And that's how quickly it changes. Now South Africa with their centre pass. Yeah, we're looking at the goal percentages: 89 for South Africa and 81 for England. Brilliant, still in that the 80s. The oh, that's not going to help. That's very uncharacteristic. You've never seen Lenise Walker to overshoot a ball like that. All those shots that have gone in from here, there, and everywhere, and that one's still being gathered up somewhere down by the harbour, I think. Francis with it. That is Conte having advantage obstruction. 
This is as much about England being patient. Cardwell had a little look. Just too far out, resets herself. That was good work. Does she fancy it from here? England. So difficult to tell. And they've got to be completely on it every second. Yep. Unfortunately, he chose to be a shooter. The responsibility is on you to convert the, the goals for your team. Oh, that's a better feed for Malcolm. South Africa. Still plenty of time in this half for South Africa. A reminder, it was tied at 51 all at the end of full time. Hence, while we're in extra time, this is the first of three. And everyone going to be like this, we hope. South Africa back within a goal. So the question I have, is there a player you can bring on that can replace Williams on the goal defence position? It's whether you bring Kwashiam perhaps you into that? that goalkeeper. Do you move maybe Francis out into that? Do you feel that maybe that's where they, they need to make a change at the moment? Yeah, I think that would be... That could be a possibility and an option that could work for, for England. Williams, Super League winner, is at that World Cup with England too. At the moment, it's up the other end, England where maybe in the tightest of margins needed to improve. Here comes the captain, and that was the captain's goal. Yeah, she didn't even hesitate, she just faced the pole, did what she's been doing well tonight when she's been playing goal attack. Danella, have you, have you faced extra time? How, what's going through the legs, what's going through the head? Not right now, because I know you're feeling it. Fortunately, I've never faced extra time, so I cannot imagine what these players are going through, but they've got to they've gotta stay in it, they've got to stay tuned in, stay focused. Last 30 seconds of this first seven minutes of extra time. England with ball in hand. Malcolm could work again, just forcing England around court, South Africa. Malcolm being forced back into the same position she was. Cardwell's had to come out for it. Just playing on the edge of everything. There was a nudge in there from Van der Merwe. Put Hayton Thwaite off her stride. I mean, there's some close dancing going on in that circle at the moment. That one won't count, but England do have the narrowest of advances heading into that final seven minutes. They have the, the slight lead up to the tide at 51 all going in. They now have that, that goal advantage going into this final seven minutes. And you can see the players, Anella, really taking it upon themselves to try and talk and work their way through this. Yeah, absolutely. They're huddling there, talking to each other, just making sure that everybody's buying into what needs to happen for the next seven minutes. England leading 57 to 56. So England, the urgency to get back onto court. South Africa now joining them. We'll see the change. That centre bib, the South Africa captain, Bongi Somi, is on court for this final seven minutes. Thank you. The calmest face in Cape Town has the ball in hand. South Contact Africa captain Msomi. Yes. Her side a goal behind. Last seven minutes Body of extra time. Yeah. That's a good move. I called it. I said they need her in there. She's an engine. She's a machine. She's got. She's so fit. She can be so key for the South African side in the last seven minutes of this game. Oh, and she knows this England team. And that Hayton Thwait is her teammate at Wasps, That's where she learned to ride a bike, to swim, to be part of that family in the UK. She is desperate, Bongi and Somi, for her South African family to prove a point against England. But it's England with ball in hand. Lovely ball over to Cardwell. They've already turned, they've gone up court. That's they have that belief in Ellie Cardwell. Yeah, I think Cardwell's really been outstanding in that shooting circle for England, showing up, answering all the questions that oh! Mawengi has. What you were asking about, Fran Williams, that was one of your questions in 
that last seven minutes and she's plucked that ball off the head of Bong Yimsomi. Yeah, well, she says if you were a little bit concerned about me, don't be. I'm here. I'm going to finish this game. Not going anywhere. Well done to Williams. Clean take. This could be a crucial goal to the gap. Jess Thurby, Kat Ratnapala, the England bench. And their centre pass too. That's why that one was so key. She's way too calm for me, Jess Thurby. As a coach, I wouldn't be sitting so calm and composed. I'd probably be pulling my hair out. But I guess it maybe shows her belief in her players, you know, and in the systems and the work that they put in. Five minutes of intense sport and the call goes the way of South Africa. Now what do they do? Tawani again impressive. Van der Merwe. The ball in Bongi and Somi offering for it. And Williams again. Hold time. No, 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 it's a throw in. <laughs> that was all right. It's just about it's the sweat on court rather than anything else. I just want them to wipe the... Just here. See that? And that was almost, wasn't it, a, a carbon copy of what had come to and fall from Williams? Well. Yeah, absolutely. Thank She's you. reading those those okay. aerial balls Thank very you. well. And coming in there very clean is, is Williams. <laughs> so if the score side. is level at the end of the seven minutes, we go to like sudden death. We go to like sudden death. We you need to be. Yeah, we need. We need to be the te whichever team is two goals ahead. That's that will be the team that will that will win. And that's better one rather than just the one goal. Given as we've seen just how tight this has been, you need that, that two goal gap, that's fair. At the moment, England have two goal gap in extra time. They only need the one. <laughs> every call, every movement being met by the crowd. Malcolm took a legal time on that. Bad obstruction away the field. England just having to play smart and they really are pushing that three that seconds at the moment. Day. Yeah, I must say though, I love the placement of those balls from Malcolm, you know, really stretching Cardwell away from the reach of Pumza Maweni. Oh! Overcooked it there to Lanis Pochitur, South Africa. That is contact shooter. There is still time, but four goals with three and a half minutes left. The field would really put a dent in the hopes of South Africa. It's only that three at the moment. That is offside, centre, centre obstruction. Tana Gary, I love how players do that as well. Just when the clock's on your side. Take a look here, umpire. This is where I'm, I'm meant to be. That but it's gone. smart, isn't it? England. It's smart. Yeah, this is a well-conditioned English side, I must say. Really, they're running at a very high intensity in the last few minutes of this match. And that's where you can see the difference, the run of goals that they put on, only barely punctuated by South Africa goals. But this, this could be vital. There is time still, but they need to be quick in their transition. And England have been good defensively in keeping South Africa out. Francis, oh, there's a little body check in there too. Yes. And it just eats down some more vital seconds. Yes. Now, am I going to tempt fate and ask you for a player of the match? Contact. Yeah, Zanella? Okay. Not with that goal going South in. Africa. South Africa still in this. <laughs> Who stood out for you, though, from both these sides? Yeah, I think Shadeen from Mavra really did well for me from the Spa Purchase side. So did Lafayette Radaman. And there is Van der Merwe, contender for player of the match then. Can she pull her side back in? And that's the problem. Just when you're trying to force something, then balls go flying. Yep, there's going to be no easy way out of this. They need to still keep ball in hand, play patiently, do what has been working, get to the circle's edge. Malcolm, combining well with Hayfield and Thwaite, the New England captain. Well, well, got hand on yes, that. Hannah Gary offside, the fans, yes. with the throw. Extraction with center. a minute and a half on, three goals in it. South Africa need to turn this one. Turn it and they give themselves a chance to draw back level. Cardwell. This and time, no mistake with that minute of pressure on. 
four goals, surely too much now as an yep. for South Africa. No, definitely Spanish too much to attack. ask from the from South Africa, especially with England centre pass with a minute left to end this game. It's been a brilliant performance from both these teams, though. So, with less than a minute left on the that clock, Zanella, can you attack. give me your player of the match then, please? Shadeen van der Merwe. Shadeen van der Merwe not likely to get the win for South Africa as Laura Malcolm recycles the ball for England. They'll end up with ball in hand, but she'll get the player of the match. The delight is we've got two more games of this to come this weekend. But England, after extra time, look like they're going to pin themselves with the win. 58-63. South Africa will end up with ball in hand. Surely the clock has beaten them now as well. Bongi and Somi trying to find through. There's Williams again. Twice in extra time, she stood up for the Roses. Twice pulled the ball back for her side to turn that ball around and give them this vital win. Five goals the difference, that one just too much. With the clock counting down, you can give those ones away. So now that's really just taking off the little bit of the gloss for England as the hooter goes to Jess Thurby. Her first test as coach of the England Roses. Many questions about who wasn't here with her side in this journey to Cape Town, but it's those players that she brought that she put on court, that squad of 12, of 15, who stood up against South Africa and come away with a win. Zanella, that right to the end, that was a contest, wasn't it? But just the, the fine margins in extra time that let South Africa down. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that South Africa expected to go to extra time, but at this level, you've got to be expecting those kind of things and really move up again. I think that's what the English Roses did so well in that extra time. Very clinical, did well to close this one and bank a win. England have the win, 63-58. With the players break away from the huddle then, the embraces, we didn't see Kate Shivan, she could make her debut for England over these three days, but South Africa with the young players that they brought through, two have shown their real quality and have stood up as well, so narrow, 51 all in at the end of full time. England winning those first two quarters, going into half time with that lead. A real strong third quarter, though, Zanella, from South Africa, and they just showed what they were they're capable of. To take us then, that fourth quarter, we tied up at 51 all and into extra time. And Ellie Cardwell, for her to just really shut out that moment she had to win it at the end of full time, but to go on and, and perform as she did in extra time. Yeah, really, I mean, that shows really great strength in the mind from Cardwell, you know, because she could have closed it off before it went to extra time, but for her to stay focused and really take her team further with confidence in that shooting circle, really doing well there, and I really was impressed with the captain as well. She might not have been taking a lot of shots, um, hey, Thorn Thwaites, but I think, you know, her play, creativity, and just opening up that shooting circle for England was really key. We saw there just that key interception from Fran Williams as well and how much that meant to the bench. The consistency that England needed to show those moments of calmness which really saw them through in the end. The Young Roses coming away with the win. The Belleville Velodrome has seen some fast pace, some exciting but nothing quite like it's seen this afternoon. South Africa 58, England 63 but those penalties they got to cut out that goal percentage huge for South Africa and England performing well, particularly in the extra time. But plenty of questions then for the coaches. Andy. Well, thank you very much to Caroline as well as Zanelli there in commentary. Well, it did take extra time to get a victor in this game. And in the end, it was England that make it victory number 45 as they.